from the entire structure of the known universe to galaxies that are 13 billion years old. We take a look at 10 objects in space that we can't explain. Number 10. Galaxies 13 billion years old If you picture what hell looks like, the image in your mind might be a good representation of the early universe. A dense burning mass of electrons and protons. In fact, it took almost half a billion years for the universe to cool down enough to allow the formation of neutrons. Once that happened, stars and galaxies could begin to form. The Subaru Telescope, run by the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan in Hawaii, recently discovered seven of the earliest galaxies ever. These faint pinpricks of light are over 13 billion light years away. Number 9. The Incredible Iciness of Saturn's Rings There are several things in our own solar system that, although they are familiar, they are quite mysterious. The icy rings around Saturn are one of the most well-known. We do know some things about them. We know that their shape comes in part from tidal forces, and we know what they're made of. We also know that, like most of the planets in our solar system, they were formed around 4.4 billion years ago. What we don't know is how they formed. But there are several things we don't know about them. For example, how are they able to maintain such a perfectly flat shape when the planet has many moons? Why are they made up almost entirely of ice? And most importantly, how were they formed? Number 8. Gamma Ray Bursts A gamma ray burst releases more energy in just a few seconds than an average star will in its entire existence. They're often referred to as the brightest electromagnetic events in the universe. And, thankfully, we've only seen them in distant galaxies. Astrophysicist Martin Sirk from UC Berkeley was quoted in an email as saying, They have been known for 40 years, but their cause is still unknown. Some have been correlated with very distant galaxies, but most correlate with nothing. Number 7. The Shape of Dark Matter Dark matter is an interesting topic. It's actually a hypothetical form of matter. It doesn't interact with other kinds of matter in any observable way, but it does appear to exert gravitational pull on visible matter. Although it's never been physically observed, the existence of dark matter is accepted in the scientific community. Studies that have been done on actual visible matter in other galaxies wouldn't make any sense unless there are a lot of other things out there pushing and pulling and creating gravitational forces. It's believed, based on discoveries from the Hubble telescope, that dark matter has a webby, stringy shape, and the assumption is that galaxies have a tendency to cluster around its strands. Number 6. Cataclysmic Variables Stars are not all the same. In our galaxy alone, there's red giants down to red dwarfs. Some are definitely a little more unique than others, especially those that come in pairs. There's actually a class of binary star known as a cataclysmic variable. These white dwarf stars actually strip their partner star of all their gases because they have such an extremely close orbit to each other. White dwarf stars are the cores of red giant stars, so to add to the uniqueness of two stars orbiting so closely, both of these stars must have been deep inside a red giant. Number 5. HD 106906b The Distant Monster So it makes sense that the further away a planet is from its parent star, the more cold, lonely, and desolate that planet would seem. Supermonster planet HD is 11 times bigger than Jupiter. It also has a very unique orbit, which actually causes scientists to question their understanding of how planets are formed. Let's consider something more familiar, like Neptune. At a distance of 30 astronomical units, or AU, Neptune, this incredibly lonely planet, is the most distant from the Sun in our solar system. In comparison, HD's distance from its parent star is 650 AU so far from its parent that, in comparison, Neptune and the Sun could reach out and hug each other. Because of its enormous distance from its parent star, astronomers struggle even to explain its existence, and it has caused many discrepancies in planetary formation theories. Number 4. 
Uranus is stormy. Astronomers have been befuddled by the second furthest family member of our solar system. Typically, Uranus would be described as frigidly calm, but due to unknown circumstances, it's currently inundated with raging storms. Scientists theorize that when the planet was halfway through with its 82-year orbit, known as the equinox, it was at its closest position to the sun, which unleashed its full solar fury on the equator. These powerful uranium storms were supposed to let up as Uranus continued to travel around the sun. This hasn't happened, and scientists aren't sure why. Number 3. UV Underproduction If there's one thing that mankind has noticed about the universe overall, it's a tendency to find balances occurring throughout the cosmos. One balance that has been observed is that between hydrogen and ultraviolet light, the two generally exist in well-defined proportions. There are two known ways that UV radiation is produced, giant black holes and unstable young stars. The problem is that there's actually more radiation than could have been produced by those two things, and astronomers have no idea why. They admit, quote, at least one thing we thought we knew about the present-day universe isn't true. They thought they had a pretty good handle on the UV hydrogen balance, but just like many good scientists in the past, they're now forced to go back to the drawing board. Number 2. KIC 2856960 The Triple Star System Hunting for new planets is nothing out of the ordinary for the Kepler Space Observatory. Several years ago, they discovered KIC 2856960, three gravitationally bound stars, two dwarf stars which have a third orbiting them. While that may sound out of the ordinary for the layperson, to these astronomers, it was just a run-of-the-mill triplet. Here's where science nerds get turned on. The binary dwarfs cross each other every six hours, so Kepler was able to observe four daily dips in the light curve. Also, every 204 days, the third star would be eclipsed, so there was another slight decline in the observed light. Because of these things, astronomers now have more questions than answers. Number 1. The Entire Structure of the Universe Dark matter was introduced earlier in this video. There's also another force known as dark energy, which isn't really related to dark matter, and to be honest, generally speaking, astronomers call something dark when they really don't know what the heck it is. Let's just say that dark energy is supposedly the force that's making the universe expand, theoretically something like gravity. Scientists constantly perform experiments and take measurements, and they can confirm that the universe is expanding all the time, and is actually now expanding faster than it used to. They have made several important discoveries, some of which are mind-boggling. For example, looking into the early universe, every point is apparently the same temperature despite the fact that they are causally disconnected. If that didn't make any sense to you, you're not alone. And that's why the universe is such a mysterious place.